Welcome back to Dirt to Daytona, folks. Today we've got Daytona International Speedway, the night race. It's where we started, so now we get to see how far we've come. And I'm pretty excited to see the difference. Should be a cold track, so we'll see how well that pans out for us as well. Let's just get out there and see where we can qualify. Who needs practice? Maybe me, but I didn't do it. Ooh, look at our car for the night race. It's fun, isn't it? It's all blue and lime green with black accents. Yeah, I like it. You know, it's kind of a big deal to me. It's not, but it's fun. I gotta be honest, I just got done racing Infineon, so this should be completely interesting and different. We're having a pretty decent season for a rookie year. Hmm. I should have put the rookie stickers on my card. Dang it, I forgot. That would have been cool. Here we go. Our lap. Oh, I guess we have two to go every time we race Daytona. We're going to do this one as our dangerous one. If it goes well, we'll be a little more dangerous next time. How about that? No, it's not going so well. I mean, I don't know. That's what we're going to do there. 48, though. I think that that's not great. I think that we'll always qualify poorly here. That's fine. We'll race up through the group. Also, my fourth gear is way too low. We'll fix that. I don't know. Right. Didn't feel good. The second one, obviously, because we were coming off of sliding, and the first one, we slowed down because we were sliding because I touched the apron. I thought I could just get down on the apron, then I thought better of it. Oh, uh, well, never mind. We did a pretty great job, actually, considering we could have definitely done a lot better, so I guess I'm not too upset about that at all. I still want to adjust that fourth gear. I'm going to do a little bit of testing, and then we'll jump out to this race! Welcome to the Sunshine State and the birthplace of NASCAR. Daytona, it's nighttime. Florida. Since 1959, a driver's career can be made or broken at Daytona International Speedway. The two and a half mile trioval has served as a proving ground for some of the greatest names in racing. 31 degrees of banking in the turns and incredible speeds on the straightaways have led to the inclusion of restrictor plates here. Aerodynamic drafting has become a must have skill in order to stay with the pack and master Daytona. Well, we tighten the car up so it's not stupid and our issues have more to do with this part we don't uh we don't have to get up and go to start so that part sucks but maybe once we're up to speed we're fine i'm really hoping that we'll be able to do something here oh you know practice is just a joke in practice we hit fourth gear and we were just absolutely ruined by everyone around us here. Fourth gear in the race, we're staying with everyone. We're even catching people right now, so oh, that's no. weird. Oh no, I shouldn't have let Gordon get in front of us. Um, yeah, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna sneak down there in a second. Here we go. And hope 
that we're able to make some moves down here. Hopefully. Getting a big run. We can get up behind Kenseth here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, that's annoying. I was there. And he keeps doing it. Come on, dude. Like, I don't mind Gordon or anything, but that's some crap right there when I was in my spot, man. I'm just pushing him right now. Oh, crap. That was on me. We're just going to kind of try to grab a draft from... Well, of course, we're not going to get Kenseth's draft. If there was ever a driver to hate somebody for the stuff that's gone on with them, including at Daytona earlier this year, it's going to be Kenseth and us. But we're fast without the draft, which is nice. We're not just losing all these cars. I don't think we have it to win the race, but we certainly have it to do some good work up here. Um, excuse me, Blaney. I'd like to take the draft from the car who cut me off twice. And then pass him if I can. We're going to come into this corner and not pass. Well, we are. Never mind. They say we're not going to pass him, but we did. Uh, I actually wasn't paying attention. I don't know how many last week. I got probably 100, right? Oh. We'll find out in a moment. I could just click through or I could just wait for one second. Oh, not even 100. Oh, that's right, because this isn't the 500, so you don't get that long of a race, because it's a two and a half mile track. Two? Two miles? Two and a half. I actually don't remember. Anywho, we are not skipping ahead yet. I just noticing that we've gone ahead and kind of left the people behind us, and we weren't in anyone's draft, which is very pleasing, because we're going to pull up on Mike Wallace here. We're going to use him, hopefully, to get up to the next group, or we'll just pass him and maybe be able to suck up to the next group. Mark Martin is faster than he was before. That's new. He was not even around earlier, so that's interesting. He must have had a bad qualifying lap or something. Maybe if he does pass us, he may or may not, I don't know, but if he does pass us, maybe we can use him to pull up to the other cars because we're about to go around Wallace here in a second. Soon as we're off this corner and get a bit of a run, we'll go in front of Wall or in uh, Martin and see if we can. Yes, yes. Come on, uh, dude. Please keep going. Thank you. He's like drifting up the track, and I wasn't okay with that. We're gonna pull down in front of so we have the low line, and then if uh, Martin passes us, we can get. He's going to pass us on sheer speed, but with the draft we should be able to use him because he's faster than us we won't just run up on him and get uh there we go we won't just get caught up behind and be waiting you know we'll actually be able to use martin and gain up on these look at us we are gaining up on everyone else we have got to stay with martin though and i'm pretty sure he's much faster in the corner so hopefully we'll be able to catch him on the straight I'm hoping, and then around the corners we'll end up backing off a little bit because he is kind of our ticket to getting closer to the front. Again, not a winning car yet, especially since we have zero aero package on this car, which means we don't get the we don't get the draft we actually want. If we had that aero package up by now, we would be up with everybody and, and potentially passing with people, but. This is at least going to get us... It got us up to the next... Well, the next car, not really the next group. In practice, Skinner was quite a bit faster than us on the track standard, but... He wasn't faster than us. He's obviously not right now. We're going to just... Well, we're going to get in behind him and... Probably stick with him. He's probably going to be the one that we ride around with for a while. What we got 23 on the tank left. I think we get 29 per. So it's a two-stopper, barely. I don't know if me and Skinner together are fast enough to grab, you know, any of the three cars that are in front of us that aren't Martin. But we're certainly going to... Oh, is there four? No, there's three. But we're certainly going to try. I don't think we're going to because my top speed without the draft is faster than what I just hit with him. 
I hit 192 alone, so that wasn't exactly a special move right there. there. Maybe he's the type that we need to have behind us. Because if we can get in front of him, there. we'll use his draft to go faster, but he's not, we're not, we'll pull away from him, I think. I don't know, because there he goes pulling away from us. How's he able to do that, but I wasn't able to uh, hold or even hit 192 with him earlier, so that's kind of weird. Let's uh, push him right now and see what happens. I just feel like when we get connected with him, he slows down. Because normally I'm doing this speed alone on the front stretch. We didn't, we're barely going to even hit 192. We never even got to 193, so we're not going to be... I don't know how I'm going to handle this unless we have any semblance of speed coming off, get a run, and just pass him before the corner. <clears throat> I'd have to probably hit around 194. Oh, we're at 194 now, 195. So here we go. Trying to ride him up the track a little bit with the hopes that it's going to cost him. We just don't... I don't think we have the finishing speed here, though. That's the problem. It's... I really need to get in front of... Oh, yeah, we're getting in front of him. So we are faster than him. In general, we're faster than him. And if we're riding the lower line, we're faster than he's decided to go the high line. Apparently he said, I do not want to work with you, even though we pushed him around the track some. I don't know, folks. I'm thinking eighth, eighth place, unless one of the top eight uh, crash, eighth place might be it for us. I'm going to use... Well, we just got tight. I was going to use Skinner. I'd like to. Yeah. Good. I'm going to use Skinner as the drafting partner as much as I can and see what we can do with it. But as it stands right now, we're pretty much at our max limit here. There are other circumstances. We've got triple digit cars on the track that could cause issues for the double digit cars. And so we might be able to get some passes that way. But as it stands, this is where we are. We'll uh, keep racing around. We're going to speed things up and we will get back to you around uh, action or our first pit stop. Caution flies. We got 12 left, so we will pit. Um, obviously, the car going into the pit right now is your damaged car, and they were uh, that was Ward Burton, so it was for position. And we'll check back with you after we've pit, and the caution is over. We made a decision, and because of it, we're back in 19th. But the decision, I think, is the right decision. Um. I guess we'll see where it all pans out, but I don't know what just happened to Burton. He dropped it back in a hurry. Somebody must have moved because they do that. Like if somebody moves a little bit, they get, sometimes they get real shy about it. Oh, that wasn't what I wanted to do. Please get off of him. Thank goodness. That could have been the end of it for me. All right. It's just a little touch. It was such a little touch that we barely felt it. And it's not even noticeable in the dark. Burton. Is that? Yeah, that's Burton. We gotta come off the gas going into the corner. I'm not gonna be able to get around Labani because we got these slow guys here. Labani's gonna get around the slow guys. I should have stayed with him. Wrong choice on my part. 
Ugh, we're fine. We'll get around him now and we'll catch up. Um, I don't, I don't think any lead lap cars pit, so we're just sort of rolling. I came right off the gas here because I didn't want to be a part of that. Of course, that makes the car turn a lot better and we touch the apron a little bit. That's all right. Problem is that group up there, we're not going to be able to catch at this point because we got caught up back here. So that part sucks, but whatever. Let's see if we can make a nice little move. Do a little quick driving to not die here. There we go. We, um, as usual, we're, we're off schedule, but that's kind of okay. good for us. Come on. Let me get around you. Aha. <laughs> Aha. Perfect. See ya. Now, can we catch him in front of us? It looks like we can. Looks like we can catch at least some of them. I don't know who. This is right in front of us, but they're a lap down. They're definitely running. Oh, Earnhardt, what are you doing, buddy? Is he damaged or something? Why is he running so slow? He's not even for position, so that's weird. Uh, good news. We were in seventh when we went into the pit, and because of some of these triple-digit cars, I would appear... Is it? Or it, some of these guys are just running real slow. Stewart's running slow. Andretti, of course, that doesn't that doesn't seem outlandish, but Oh, this isn't good. This is not good. Sorry, we had to dent your front end a little bit. That probably dinged us up a little, but I had to do what I had to do. Um Yeah, I saw that happening because, you know, us and Kenseth, so I have to always assume that if Kenseth is anywhere near us, he's going to end up in a spot that's potentially going to damage us. There may have been some of the leaders that pit because we're in 10th with the potential to catch him past Atwood and Kenseth, and we already passed Gordon once. I mean, earlier in the race, so we definitely have the speed to get around him. That's Skinner up there, too. We could pass these four cars and be in sixth place. The rest of the cars are just so freaking far ahead. It's crazy. But let me see what I can... Let me see what I can do to... Still there. I don't know. I think I want Skinner. I think he's the fastest of the group here. All clear. We can get up to him and we can... Looks like Gordon got a little, a little bump in the butt. All right. I just feel like we're going to get too much of a run on Atwood, so we got to go up here. And then he's going to drive away. I, it's hard. You know, I want to do... I want to do the right thing to get around him, because he's not Skinner, and Skinner is definitely faster Hell than that. these guys. Was that Rudd? I just pit? I don't know. It went real fast across my screen, so. Clear low. It was for a position, though. We're in sixth right now. Again, getting up to those leaders. Maybe if we're with them at the start, like if we're at the end and Still we're there. with the leaders, that possibility is there. I'm going to definitely try to use Atwater right now. Atwater. Atwood. Because he has the potential, even though he's not as fast as Skinner, we have the potential to get around... Skinner with that. We got around Skinner on our own earlier. And although when we hit lap traffic, he did get closer to us. It wasn't a big deal. Still there. And he was up here, which makes me believe now that we're sitting here in third place that, uh, second place that he either pit with us or he didn't pit and he's going to have to this time around. Still there. And that's going to put us in a really good position, potentially. Sterling Marlin back there. He obviously pit. Or again, him and Skinner both need to pit. That's why we did our thing. 20 laps left on this tank. So I'm kind of feeling really good about the decision I did make. Wow, Marlin is coming at us fast, though. Holy crap. I'm pulling up on the track like that because I don't know if Skinner's pitting. Of course, I don't really need to pull up on the track. It'll tell me, and I can move out of the way when it does. There it was. There's your answer. Potentially Marlin as well. Yep. So we folks are out there. 
we are out there right now in the lead and we're lapping some cars and if a caution were to come out when we lap these cars this could be pretty awesome new men this could be pretty awesome for us to put some of these cars down a lap and be in a really decent position to win a race that we shouldn't win but because we pit off schedule we could win all uh, right these guys are like exactly this oh wow were we so close to that freaking wall that was nuts we're just gonna freeway cross the line there with these two fellers lap a bunch of these cars right now I mean, I'm obviously loving that. Jeff Burton, the only car that hasn't had to pit, he must have pit with us. I think he was damaged on the caution, so it makes sense why he would have pit with us. We had, I mean, we had gone a fair amount of laps. It wasn't like we were just starting to race and we had to pit, or we didn't have to pit. We pit because, as you can tell, these cars went like three more laps after the, the green flag dropped again and had to pit. So that's kind of interesting. I'm just, just barely touching um, Kenseth's draft. Not enough, but getting there. I tell you what, I wouldn't be mad about a caution at all in the next 20 laps. Because, well, although we weren't, we aren't a lap ahead of any of these cars that are 34 and 38 seconds down. We certainly have a pretty heavy lead on them. This draft from Burton is going to get us up to Kenseth and we're going to be able to suck past him and put him a lap down. Which is the best kind of revenge. Ooh, we got another one. That was Dale Jarrett coming off of pit road. He's going to be really far down. He's going to be probably a lap and a third down by the time he gets up to speed. He was also potentially our only chance at, uh, unless someone breaks down, our only chance at getting a caution to come out. Sorry, I stall. A lot of times when I'm talking and all of a sudden I stop for a couple seconds, it's because I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do. And, um, it's not like you're just making some casual decision here. I've got to make like a quick decision and hope that Kenza sees me and doesn't come down on me. Thank you. Look at what are you doing? Is that me or was that him that looked made a little jolt All towards there. me? It felt like he made a little quick move down on me. Like that it was crazy, but we put him down a lap, which is fun. Obviously, he'll get it back if he pits. We would like to not. Uh, we'd like if we do pit for them to get through their pit stops again before a caution flies. We're so off schedule from everyone that there shouldn't be a caution when we pit because nobody is doing anything crazy. There goes Mike Mack, the 116 car. I'm going to keep it inside because I'm using Ward. I mean, th this is working out quite well. Probably not for him because he's down a lap. He's probably not real happy about me not letting him around me to get his lap back. Why would I, though? He's the reason why we're actually not getting caught up by these other cars that are 37 laps or 30 seconds, 37 seconds down because they're a lot faster than us overall. I just have to remember that I'm driving my car and not his. And the reason why I say that is because there's times where I'll try to match what they're doing because they kind of wobble when they're behind you. And if I'm paying attention to him, I'll make weird moves to try to keep him directly behind me. But it seems that if I just drive my line, it works out. And I'm not even really looking at my car. I'm almost always looking in front by a fair amount until I get really close to the apron. Then I look at the apron which is exactly where I end up driving the car towards when I do that. But, you know, 
It's kind of like when you're riding a motorcycle, they always tell you where you look is where you're going to go. So obviously I make the right choice by looking at the apron because I enjoy getting driven down to the apron on. He bought this uh, one, th I think this 131 car. I'm pretty sure that he pit because we passed him just a few laps ago. So he must have pit in the interim. And because of Ward, we we're actually driving away from Jeff. He was 11 or he was 10 seconds. Now he's 10 again, but he's like right on the cusp of, of 11 seconds behind us, which is kind of fun. This certainly is a completely different style of a race than the, uh, hell, the last multiple races we ran. We had Dover, which was fun. We had Infineon, which was just crazy to watch all the other cars and how they're affected by a road course. I mean, the AI is just a joke for that. They're all over the place. They're just, I th I'm pretty sure that there was a scene coming out of a caution towards the end that I put in the video by now you've seen it but that I put in the video that just showed how absolutely destroyed the fronts of all every single car was and there was probably 10 or so cars that didn't even get through the race at all that were not running at the end of the race so oh that was that was actually pretty dangerous I was surprised that Burton didn't get uh, trashed by him that was the 110 car, I believe. Came on the track and was doing that slow. We went past him probably 100 miles faster than he was going easily. It's crazy. My next question is, is I know Jeff is going to pit with us. Is Ward as well? Because I can't remember if I think it was Ward that was damaged. So although he's a lap down, he's still on the same cycle that we are, I believe. I don't know. We've got uh, 10 left on the tank, so we're going to go ahead and shut up and speed this up for just a little bit. And we'll catch you at our, our, uh, at our stuff. We'll catch you when we Bye. are pitting. I'm really hoping that... Burton gets... Oh, he's going to force it. Aw, come on. Right. If he's that much faster than me, that's fine. I'll just suck him behind him. All right, we got three in the tank. I'm going to watch to see where it turns to two. If it's at the line, we'll go around just the one time anyway. Well, maybe twice. I don't know. We're about to lap Earnhardt Jr. again. Something's definitely wrong with his car. You're all clear. We're about to lap the 131 again. Oh. Yeah, we'll go around the one more time. We'll pit next time around. Obviously, it just turned. Um... Yeah, find out who that is that's pitting right there. Is that Sadler? No, that's Burton. Interesting. So we're going to go around one more time. It's not going to hurt us because it's not like we're on a shorter or even a mile and a half track where we might run slower because of a worn tires. Although our stuff is pretty worn out. Holy crap. But uh, this is going to be the part that matters to me is that it's fine that we're pitting. But when we come out, we need to see if we're going to be in a position that we can, um, sorry, I'm paying attention to what I'm doing. Anyway, 
hopefully we're in a position that we don't have to worry about cautions and all that. So, yep, yep, yep. Or we'll just come right up on the track and wreck our car. Can't hit your brakes in this game. I'm on a flat track and I put down my brakes like I always do. I wait up on the track and wrecking the car. All right, we're going to be laps down. That's the end of the race for us. Well, we'll have to see what we can salvage here. 32 laps to go. Technically, we still have to pit one more time, and uh, they're not going to have to pit again, but... You know, I'm, I'm just... I was thinking about it while I was driving around after that whole thing. I did nothing different than I ever do. I got down on the flats, hit the brakes. I didn't even downshift yet. And I thought, well, maybe if, you know, after everything, you kind of reflect... I was like, well, maybe I could have come off the brakes to get the car back up. But then I realized I'd actually tried to. I tried to pump the brakes and we were in a straight slide at high speed. There was nothing I could do. I was trying to steer it away from the wall and everything. There was no nothing I could do. Everything was locked up and it just drove right at the wall. We're fortunate we didn't blow the engine. We're fortunate it was just a minute. We're fortunate we're just a lap down in 20th place. It looks like we can pick up a few extra places. Um... A big for another fortune for us would be everybody pits. We get all those spots back, not first place, but we get the spots back or we're at least on the same lap with them and we'd be able to maybe just maybe salvage, you know, a really a high finish. We were in route. We were in route to get off a of pit road and be in like fourth place. Still. Because we were so far ahead of everyone, we'd have had a great stop. We'd have been good to go. Um, some cars pitting now, not for position, so that doesn't matter. And, uh, you know, that car that just pit, they're going to have to pit one more time. You get 29 to the tank. We just crossed the line at 30. Well, right now we're at 29 because we got, we're a lap down technically. So I guess that's what they're thinking too. And this will put us into 18th place. Looks like Burton and Sadler and them are on the same lap as us. I don't, I mean, I feel like Burton was doing just fine driving away from us, but Sadler appears to be coming back to us right now. So I should suspect that Burton will pass him as he appears to be, yeah, doing exactly that, driving away from us, but Sadler's coming back. So we should catch Sadler without him pitting. Um, of course, I need them to pit so that if there is a caution, I'm not stuck where I am right now. We'll see what happens. I just, you know, I'm frustrated with it. We got 24 laps left in the tank, and now we're just, we're counting down to when they start to pit. And so we see where we end up from that point. And then we're counting down to hope that one of them comes out of pit road and just smacks another car. And we get a caution and we end up pitting for our last time. And we come out on track with the ability to fight for a top 10, which is what it appeared we could have done prior to all this. That's uh, the 171. So that's another lapped, multiple lapped car. There's McCabe coming off of pit road right now. Yeah, these are all the triple digit cars so they're they're pitting because they're multiple laps down this is their last pit stop this will actually benefit them you know some of them they're multiple laps down so it's also not going to affect them that much but it should help them out somewhat We're gaining pretty fast on Sadler. That's nice, but it doesn't appear there's anybody else in front of him because Burton is driving away from us and I'm not getting anyone else popping up on the relative. So I fear that 16th place is the first car lap down as we are. 
a lap down. Um, 27 to go. 22 in the tank. We are going to speed it up. And because nothing exciting is going to happen except for us passing Sadler. Hopefully we'll see pit stops occurring in the next five or so laps and be able to make some headway. And then, of course, the big prayer is that there's a caution so we can pit. And under caution. Well, all those cars are on the same lap as us because that's pretty much the only way we're going to get our lap back at this point because they are faster than us. So we're going to go ahead and do our thing and we'll get back with you when something like that happens. Yes! Oh, that is huge. The caution comes out. Is that McCabe? I don't know. Someone's running slow maybe up there, but all I know is that with the time we have left, yeah, that's McCabe. Is he smoking or something? He's running real slow. With the time we've got left, we'll be able to go in, pit for the last time, get back on the track, lead lap with these cars, and maybe drive our way up to a top 10. I don't know. Maybe not. All I know is that this caution could not have come at a better time. Absolutely excited again, because that's what we needed. And all the cars that are on pit road have to wait. Look at them all sitting there waiting. They're all a lap down now or on the same lap with us. Big, big time for us to have that happen. All right, here we are. We have, we can get some spots and we're in 11th, so that's cool. I mean, we still have to drive. We've got 12 laps to go. We're on the lead lap, to my knowledge. Yeah. Yep, we're on the lead lap. I mean, let's not think about where we could be had that accident not occurred. Had we not screwed up. We're going to need to get to the inside here because we're going to get a huge run in a second, and we don't want to be here. But I can't get to the inside because the run has already started not huge it's not as big as i All thought it was going to be but uh please say the inside lanes keeps going keep going keep going keep going that's huge Still that's there. huge for us Car high. um i really want to find a spot and the middle appears to be where we're gonna go all right Oh, All nope, clear. nope, nope. Not you, not you, not you. Ooh, little, little touchy, but we're okay. I want to stay with clear Labani low. here because he's faster than the other Labani. <laughs> Burton running the wall. I don't know why. He, well, I can't say much because we've done that before. Hold your line. Clear high. All clear. Come on, come on, come on, come on. What else can we take here? I don't think we can catch Atwood or Labani. Maybe. Maybe clear. we're in his draft, so maybe. Actually, yes, we definitely can. Ten, laps to go. Ten to go. 
Do we have what it... I think we have what it takes to get into fifth place here. Well, all right, maybe sixth place. It looks like Labani's pretty fast, actually. We'll definitely get on him and, and maybe try to plan out a, a passing move if we could stay with him. We're definitely, potentially, possibly, as long as we get there first. Okay, good. I'm like, Atwood might just split okay. us both right now and come down and screw me over, but he did not, so that's good for us. We absolutely can't catch the top four. But if we roll around with Labani and maybe make a last lap pass, unless we can make one earlier, but that was a great lap. I would like to. We just had our fastest lap in this race. I'm not trying to, but if, if I can, I'm going to. Because if I just get him behind me and I just block him or use him as the draft, it's all about if he's fast enough to stay in front of us. That's the point. If he is, I'll back it up a little bit at the last lap and try to get a run. I don't think that that works on this because I'm not a fully upgraded car. So we're not getting like a super run every time. Like I, I didn't back it up. He just got around us and now he's kind of holding that, that in front of us. Now, to be fair, we should be able to get a run on him at some point. I just don't know if it's going to be enough. He'd have to go high, which he just did again. Still there. He may... I don't know. I don't know. It might be another Still one there. of those situations like we did earlier with uh, Skinner, where we had the better line, and because of it, we were able to pass. But no, we're not quite there. He's going to get the run off, and he's going to take Still it there. from us again, and then we'll just sneak right back inside. I think that if we get a good enough run, though, we can absolutely finish the pass and sneak up in front of him and block him for the fifth place in the race. I was going to say fifth place victory. It is a victory of sorts to get fifth place. It's a big victory to have everything fall into place the way it needed to fall in place after we got screwed on our pit stop. seven laps to go i don't i mean i have to do this or i'm just gonna run into him i mean i guess i could come off the gas that would make sense too but why because if i end up with a decent if i i was gonna say if i get through this corner at a decent clip i could pass him but i won't he's got the run off again we gotta get right up in behind him we have got to stick with him so we can't let we can't like let him run that high line and then us not follow him in or up that high. We have to stay with him the whole time or we'll lose his draft. And if we lose his draft, we're not fast enough to stay with him. Just hoping yeah, we're getting the run back right now. We're actually getting a pretty nice run on the front stretch. I might I might let off the gas and just stick with him. That's what I'm gonna do. I'd like to get a run off the back stretch actually. Just keep blipping the throttle, trying to uh, keep him, keep us off of him. Hello. Hello I don't know. I, I, it's all we need. We need to back it up a little bit farther. We need to get like a 196 and then pass him or something. I think that's what we'll let we'll do. We'll we'll get off his back bumper on the last lap, and uh, we'll get a big run. And pass him. Maybe. Gonna have to be on the back stretch because this game doesn't work. You know, you can't I'm not gonna pass him in the corner, that's for sure. So we'll have to see how it goes. Oh now he's running that low line probably for that same reason. Oh, he is, he's running it like it's freaking Indianapolis. He's like going down and then coming up high to try to keep us off his draft. We hit 196 there and we're not getting the pass. That's not good for us. All right. This is interesting.
I blipped it a little bit there to see if I can get a run by the end of the corner. If we get it going into the corner, we might be able to have a really fast 197. That got us up on him, but we're in his draft in the corner. Are we going to be able to be fast enough maybe to come off the corner and get around him? I'm just testing everything while we have time. Three to go. Not a lot of time Zero. left, but... Side by side going in the corner. I just don't... I don't know. We have the low line. I can't... He's faster than us. That's got to do with the arrow package as well. But of course, if it wasn't for... If we had that, we're not even having this conversation. We're up front. We don't have the drag. We have drag right now. That's what's causing this problem. Be nice if maybe... Uh, one of these cars slowed him up some and then we could pull something off but he's just going to go around him actually we could get screwed <laughs> go into it and that guy cuts down on us but he didn't thankfully Two to go. Stay low. Still there. no 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 I'm not trying to do that to you buddy I wasn't right. trying to do that I touched him just slightly on his back left and it sent him and I, I feel bad about that I really do that wasn't my intention at all happens in real racing all of the time so little anticlimactic there we'll run it out and uh, see you at the end of the race Well, folks, we'll take home fifth place in an unlikely fashion. And I absolutely didn't mean to do that to Labani. Looks like he finished 11th, so at least he finished, you know. That just sucked. We were racing well, and I don't think I would have gotten around him, and actually I would have been okay with that just because we were fighting, but trying to race him clean, and we sent him up into the wall, and that was the end of that. Well, your top five ends up Sterling Marlin, Elliot Sadler, Mark Martin, Kurt Busch, and Tony Savoy. Well, we walk away with $146,918 in that race. was uh, That engine damage was very costly. $24,000 for running that up into the wall. We had more damage there than we had in the uh, road course race because of that stupid pit stop, but... Whatever, we'll take the winnings and we'll move on. Congratulations to that number 40 Coors Light Chevrolet. Sterling Marlin with the victory at Daytona in Under the Lights. Congratulations again, and my apologies to Labani. Terry Labani. With that finish, we are up into 17th place, just four points out of 16th place. Can we keep it going? I don't know. We have nine hundred. Yeah, we have nine hundred and thirteen thousand eight hundred sixty-seven dollars in the bank, and we actually have a truck series race next. That's going to be at New Hampshire, so that'll be an interesting one. We then race at New Hampshire with the Cup Series. That'll be even more interesting, and we follow that one up with Michigan International Speedway in the third episode in the truck series but folks that is gonna do it for this episode i do want to take a moment out to say thank you so very much for taking the time out of your day to watch my video and of course as always you take care